In this video, we'll look at solving a linear system by elimination. So the system given is 3x minus 2y minus 39 and x plus 3y equals 31. Two equations, let's label them equation 1 and equation 2. Those two equations have two unknowns and we'll solve them by elimination. So to do that we need to have the same coefficient on the x's or on the y's. Well, if we did the y's we'd have to make them both 6 because you can't make a 2 into a 3 very easily or a 3 into a 2. We can do that but it would be two steps. Make this to 6 by times 3. Make this. And I don't want to do two steps. I'd rather do one step. That's why I'm going to choose equation 2. I'm going to take equation 2 and times everything by 3 so I can get this to both have 3x. So here's equation 2 and I'm going to times everything by 3 as I said. It's 3. So I get 3x and 3 times 3 is 9y 3 times 31, you can use a calculator if you want, you get 93. So this is still equation 2 but we'll call it 2a because it's been adjusted. And now that we have the same coefficient in equation 2 as equation 1, we can eliminate. That is, we're going to take equation 1 and subtract equation 2a. Note that if you had opposite signs, say this was 3x and this was negative 3x, you would add them. But since they're the same coefficient, to eliminate them, we subtract. So let's take equation 1 and subtract equation 2a. Note to self, people forget all the time to subtract properly, so I put a minus with a circle. Helps me remember. Subtract each of them. So 3x take away 3x, nothing. That's the whole point of elimination. Gone. No more x's. Negative 2 take away plus 9 is the same as negative 2 take away 9, which is negative 11y. And negative 39 take away 93. You can do that in your head, but I won't judge you if you use your calculator. Negative 39 take away 93. You get negative 132. Now, how do you get y by itself? Divide by what's ever in front of y, in this case negative 11 on both sides. On the left you get just y equals, and on the right what's 132, or negative 132, divided by negative 11. You didn't even need the negatives, you know they're going to cancel out. And you get y equals 12. Alright, we know what y is. So now, since we've got y equals 12, we're going to sub y equals 12 into one of the equations. Anyone, you can pick any of the equations. Doesn't matter, I'll pick equation 2. So x plus 3y equals 31. I, I do think it's going to be easier to get the x here, but any of them will work, just would have taken a step or two more. So x plus 3 times 12 equals 31. So x plus, what's 3 times 12? 36 equals 31. And finally, how do you get x by itself? Subtract 36 both sides, and you get x equals, you can do this in your head or on a calculator, negative 5. So what have we done? We've solved this linear system. That is, this line and this line have an intersection at this point. Let's write this down. The intersection, or the solution, is at x comma y. What's the x? Negative 5. What's the y? 12. And we've solved this linear system. That is, we found the point of intersection by elimination. 